This video about to have more characters than your recent tweet. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. When I was younger, I used to be so intrigued by movie sets, actors, and peepees. And now that I'm older, I've had the chance to be on a lot of movie sets, actors, and peepees. What? I wish. What? Huh? Moving on. And when my friends ask me how movie sets are, I tell them they're awesome. But there are a few things about set life that are absolutely ridiculous. So if you've never been on a movie set, here's what goes down. Number one, over communication. Now there's a lot of reasons to communicate everything that happens on a set. You know, for efficiency, for safety, to sound cool, etc. But sometimes it's a little overkill, not to mention it's not English. Yeah, you know what, let me get a fill. Copy. Uh, audition it. Striking. Striking. Copy. Spraying. Copy. Martinis up. Copy that. Last looks. Stepping in. Standing by. Camera speeds. Sound speeds. D second sticks. Copy that. Second sticks. Copy. Copy. Copy that. Copy you. Copy. 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 This is not an exaggeration. Literally, and that language gets engraved into your mind. Okay, I'll be out there flirting with boys just like stepping in. Hey, so I was wondering, uh, did you want to like go for, I don't know, craft services together sometime, maybe? Maybe Saturday? Copy that. You know, I finished last looks at around 8, so why don't you pick me up around uh, magic hour? Uh, okay. Copy that. That's a wrap on flirting. Excited in my loins. Exiting brain. That's right, my flirting is like a movie. You mean like the bloopers. Get the F out of here. Number two. Job descriptions. Now on a set, every person has a very specific job that they take super seriously, which basically means yo, back the F up and respect my craft. No one does anyone else's job, no matter how minor it is. Okay, pictures up. Oh, uh, no, wait, no, we got a little uh, hair on her cheek. Uh, I could just, hair, can we get hair? Oh yeah, there is a hair on the cheek. So can you just, hair is flying in. <laughs> No, we, we got a little bit of her tag in the shot. Can we get a wardrobe? Number three, hurry up and wait. Now anyone who's ever been on a set is very familiar with this term. It basically means that you're gonna arrive to set so early. They're gonna tell you to get ready ASAP. And then once you're ready, you're gonna wait anywhere from two to five hours to shoot your scene. Thanks so much, Lily. I'll come get you when we're ready. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. We're all set for your scene. my time to shine. Straight up, the younger and older version of Rose from Titanic was played by the same actress, okay? They just had to move lights in between. Everything moves so slow and takes forever. And that's a wrap. <sighs> 14 hours, not bad. Uh, can we get playback on what we shot today? Wow. It's beautiful. Number four, blocking. Now the first time I went on a set and someone was like, hey, we're gonna go through the blocking. I was like, what the F, is someone gonna punch me? But then I learned that blocking is rehearsing the movements of the scene. So like, you're gonna stand there, then you're gonna walk here, then you're gonna look there, and you're gonna hit that mark, all that. But here's the thing about blocking, right? Sometimes you're expected to not move like a human being. Uh, can I see the picture up? Oh, we got a little bit of a glare. Tilt it down. More. More. A little bit more. No, no, too much for the difference. All right, up to the left. A little, little more. A little more to the left. Oh, no, right. Right, right. Tilt down. Perfect. Perfect, right there. Okay, hit that exact same spot. For sure. And now I'm on set feeling like a bad boyfriend because I can't hit the right spot. And the director's out here faking it to not make me feel bad. Okay, and action. 
I mean, oh, yes, that was the one. Oh, so good. Yes. Yeah, we just fixed it in post. We fixed it in post. Oh, right in the middle. That's the spot. Mm, when you have to dress up like a male character just so you can hear those words of satisfaction. I swear to God, zoomed in, Lily, I'm gonna hit you. Mm-hmm, bet you won't hit it right. Number five, creepy sound guys. 90% of the time I've been on a set, there's been a male sound technician, which by the way, why? Here's the thing about sound techs, right? Essentially, it's a complete stranger approaching you, putting his hand up and down your shirt, taping things to your boobs, sticking things in your bra, with minimal to no words exchanged. Just like, my name's Chuck. Can I put this down your shirt? And 100% of the time, this mic pack is freezing. Not once in my entire life has it not been. Now, this might be a little cold. Uh, yeah, we've got two uh, nipple rips in the front of her shirt. Can we get wardrobe and a hot chocolate? I swear to God, sound people will always find a way to mic you no matter what. I could be wearing a onesie, okay, no bra. I could be nude. And they'll just be like, yeah, okay, we're gonna just put the wire through your belly button, you know, out your left ear, just staple the mic pack to your, th they just, they'll find a way. Straight up, I was changing once and then someone walked in and they were like, yo, nice song. And I was like, um, that's, that's just the mic wire. <laughs> yeah, the sound was crap, that video. Video, give it a thumbs up comment below and let me know who was your favorite character that I played in this video my last video is right over there bloopers to this video right over there on my second channel make sure you subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday one love superwoman that is a wrap and zoop